introducing to you our two contestants in the second middleweight competition here at the National Amateur Boxing Championships at West Point. Representing the state of Tasmania, boxing out of the red corner, Guy Felburn. <laughs> Uh, He's a from <clears throat> South Wales. Well, in this May middleweight contest here tonight, the uh, Jamie Wright, the Australian uh, middleweight champion, will certainly have a fight on his hand here tonight because we saw last night that this guy, Belvin, from uh, Tasmania, is as tough as they come. He'll stand there and uh, keep throwing punches, and it'll be up to Jamie Wright to be able to move and score punches because uh, this boy from Tasmania uh, won't, won't uh, take any mucking around whatsoever. So here we go, the first round in this middleweight contest. Jamie Wright, New South Wales and Guy Belbin from Tasmania. Both orthodox. Wright having the uh, height and uh, reach lead on this uh, tough looking guy from Tasmania. And throws a wild left hand and uh, feels out his opponent. Jamie Wright's got a box here and move, which he does. Move out of trouble. Find his um, opponent and uh, land some punches. Whereas uh, the shorter uh, Belvin will uh, try and club away, which he's doing, trying to uh, catch uh, Wright with some uh, big punches. Wright, nice left hand lead from Wright, and then uh, left and right comes back. And the boy from uh, Tasmania is trying some uh, plenty of body punches, but they're going low. And uh, he really wants to fight this Tasmanian. He's in there to uh, chop and uh, slug away, and uh, it'll be up to right to um, land the cleaner punches, which he does. A nice right hand land. The uh, boy from Tasmania is told, don't turn around and uh, stand straight in front of your opponent. Uh, right uh, should be lead using his uh, height advantage here, that which he is, his lead, and uh, spear that left hand out in order to uh, keep the uh, boy from Tasmania from getting in and crowding him and landing the uh, chopping punches from which he is renowned. Can't uh, match it for the lead with uh, Wright. He hasn't, not scoring punches yet. Wright, uh, let's go to the stomach and uh, referee says, keep your head up. Uh, not many good scoring punches. Back comes the uh, Tasmanian with the right. He pushes that left hand out, but it's not a good left hand lead, I feel. Right through a low one turn. Back comes the uh, Tasmanian, but uh, he hasn't landed any heavy punches. And it's up to Wright to uh, use his boxing powers here. Oh, nice right hand from Jamie Wright. Both boys trying each other out to the stomach. Oh, and he hit him with the, uh, Tasman hit right with the right hand then. Trying to uh, throw him off. He pinned his hand there and tried to throw him. And referee says, no, we don't want to do that. Nice uh, rip to the left rip to the stomach from uh, the Tasmanian. And right ga Jamie Wright goes underneath his uh, right hand lead. Oh, good left hand from Jamie. Stopped him in his tracks. They're both throwing to the stomach. They're both uh, feeling the pressure here. Jamie Wright will be uh, told not to use his head. Double left hand lead from Wright. And the, uh, the Tasmanian goes underneath. So he'll keep his head up. So good left hand lead by Wright. And then a right hand... Tasmanian comes back with left and right. Back exchanging left and right. Now two punches to the stomach. And Jamie Wright uh, really feeling the pressure here. Comes back to the occasion. Letting left and right hand. They're both holding onto each other. The referee says break. Up they go. Leads up. Oh, nice right hand. The Tasmanian he caught Jamie Wright then. The right hand flush to the chin. And he goes left and right to the stomach. The referee calls it end of the uh, first round. And a good, uh, strong opening round from both boys. And uh, that must have been a very close uh, round for judges to uh, assess the points in as uh, both boys exchange punches at quite close range. And it'll be the one that uh, can land more scoring blows that will uh, come out with a decision of the uh, judges.
Johnny Lewis. Johnny Lewis uh, telling Jamie Wright that he must uh, catch this boy at long range because uh, he's very dangerous when he gets in close. Uh, Guy Bobbin from Tasmania and tough as they come. Referee waiting for both for the ring to be cleared and out they come for the start of this second round of this middleweight contest. Wright uh, clubs a couple of left hands out. They weren't good strong leads. He's, uh, back comes the roundhouse punches of this guy, Belbin. He, uh, he doesn't lead up at all, so it's up to Wright to uh, catch him from the distance and keep out of trouble. He's got his height, his reach advantage, and uh, they want to rip him to stop, him, stop this boy from uh, getting in close and swinging and clubbing away. Uh, overhand right over lead, right's left hand. Uh, Jamie Wright catches him with the left hand then he throws a long right but just misses. Then he hits him with the right and uh, now he leads uh, two, two to the uh, midsection of Belden. Up he comes back he's straight into it with a left and a right. Uh, feeling out for distance and then he lands a right hand. It wasn't a very uh, strong punch and uh, Jamie Wright's waiting, taking his time here but he'll have to start doing more work. Left and a right from right. It comes to swinging uh, Tasmania. Wright waits to set him up. Tasmania wants to get into this. He wants uh, plenty of fight. Chops away. Uh, Jamie Wright's going to have to box from a distance. He got him with the left and right then as he came in. Back comes uh, Belbin with the left hook. Catches right. Wright's going to have to keep uh, moving back. He slams a couple of out of the midsection of the Tasmanian. That's where he's got to fight him at a distance. The uh, Tasmanian uh, shorter arms and uh, he wants to get in there and uh, land more punches, which he does. He caught him with a good left hand then. Right swings away with the left. He, he's not leading up. The referee's indicating to keep his punches up. Way slams the Tasmanian. Slams one in the midsection of Jamie Wright. Oh, caught Wright with a nice uh, right hand then. Now he's chopping out his silly left hand. He ripped away then. Jamie Wright comes back. Now left and right, they're hanging on to each other and wrestling. The Tasmanian's feeling the pressure. He's, he's not real strong on his legs, and it'll be up to uh, whoever's the fittest of these two uh, will get the uh, ju judge's decision. Swings away, uh, and either goes to the stomach. Jamie Wright holds on to him. Right, the uh, Tasmanian is meanwhile uh, feeling the pressure. He'll want to be, uh, he'll want to improve here because Wright hits him with two right hands, a good left and a right, and away goes Jamie Wright, slamming away. There's a good exchange. He's tough as teeth, but this Tasmania, he's still in there. Although he's uh, very tight, he's still in there uh, making Wright work every inch of the way here. Referee indicating to both boxes not to hold on. Both boys are uh, keen to get back into it. Back he goes to the left and right, Jamie Wright. Referee's telling him, uh, hitting to the side. And they're both feeling the pressure at this stage. They hang on to each other and they want to wrestle and the referee tells them to break. Oh, nice right hand from Jamie Wright. Left and right and he's getting tied. Oh, and he's getting tied. This uh, Tasmanian he's trying to indicate to the referee that he was hit on the back of the head, but it's his own fault. Right, bound they go. Hammer and tongs to the uh, midsection. So uh, Jamie Wright was able to land a few more effective punches at this stage. And it'll be a matter of uh, him keeping the uh, Tasmanian boy, uh, Guy Belvin, at, uh, at bay. And uh, by landing these uh, more effective uh, punches to the uh, head, that'll be one way that he uh, will keep him off. What's the matter? Huh. <laughs> ah. Tasmanians in the crowd uh, cheering on their own boy and uh, we'll just see how uh, the, the judges see this because it's going to be the boy that can uh, be the one that's in better condition will uh, last this last round because the last round will certainly uh, win it for the, uh, either boxer. 
And he goes for the left grip, the uh, Tasmanian. And now uh, feeling his way. Jamie Wright measuring him up and got a left and a right. Tasmanian uh, tough as they come and a uh, right hand from Jamie. Got him on the chin, he's uh, catching with leads, he's needed more punches at the start of this round, but back comes the Tasmanian, Guy Belvin, he's ready for fight, he's, there's a ton of fights still left in him, and Jamie Rice going to have to uh, keep him away, keep him at distance with his long left leads, which he's doing and quite comfortably, but this boy from Tasmania, oh down went a very low blow then, the Tasmanian was told to listen, and uh, Jamie Rice being told to keep his punches up. Up there you go. Left and right, right hand from Jamie, leading into the stomach, he's got to keep moving, he's got to keep on moving and keep this Tasmanian off, which he's uh, doing a nice right hand from Jamie. Back he comes, but he misses him with that left swing. Back came Jamie right with the left hand, the uh, Tasmanian uh, wants to fight, he's being told uh, not to land any more low punches, Jamie Wright won't want to be doing that. Tasmanian's really feeling the pressure here. He wants to fight, he wants to chop away. Jamie Wright's keep moving and that's the only thing he can do to keep this boy and score punches. Left and right, misses there and they're missing now. I think he's uh, really feeling the pressure now. And it's a matter of conditioning as to who will get to home here. But uh, Jamie Wright I think has uh, scored enough punches, Ellie. Back he comes, working the body with left and right. Uh, have to land more punches. Oh, and the, uh, the boy from Tasmania got him on the chin there with a good right hand. He's as tough as they come. Referee separating the boxes, telling him to step back after he calls on them to break. Back he goes right, left and right, Jamie right through, which caught the Tasmanian there. Both boys are tired here, we can see that. It's a matter of pressure, it's a matter of who can pull it out. Back comes, the, they're both exchanging, and Jamie Wright will not want to stand there and exchange punches for this, because that's just right up the uh, short of both from Tasmania's alley, and that's exactly what he wants to do. So he can't stay in there and lean on him. He must move around, he tries to push him and shove him because he wants to get it at a, at a distance. The referee time, don't hold on. There'll be warnings going in here shortly, I feel. And the warning could easily cut side the box of this fight. Oh, good left hand from the Tasmanian. Caught Jamie. Both sides, they're both very tired, they've, they've both fought very hard all the way, they're both feeling the pressure. It's going to be a matter of who can just last this distance. Tasmanian bouncing around, they're, they're summing up every last out of energy, last ounce of energy to get them home here. Oh, better left than right, they're, they're the two good punches. Oh, an uppercut, and he's staggering Jamie Wright, but he's still, he's still in there. The boyfriend Tasmania senses he's tired, he wants to go on with it. He's got to keep moving, Jamie Wright. <clears throat> it's only sheer uh, courage which is keeping both these boys going. They're both uh, standing toe to toe. Jamie Wright can't afford to do that. He must move around. He's feeling the pressure. And there it is. There's the finish. Both boys very tired. What a great effort. They both went very well. Both very well. Jamie Wright, New South Wales, going on to Tasmania. Ah, uh, well, I feel that, uh, I feel whilst it was a very close contest that the, uh, the longer um, punches of Jamie and Ryan were possibly getting the decision here, but uh, there's four marks of the sport, Guy Belbin from, um, from Tasmania. from Tasmania realises that it was a close fight but uh, he just didn't uh, have Ladies enough to and gentlemen, the result, the winner of the middleweight contest boxing out of the red corner. Oh, oh well, that to me was quite a uh, surprise how he got that but however, that's the way it goes in the center of boxing.
Just before we introduce the next box, there's a plea from the Victorian camp. Unfortunately, they've got some gear that's gone astray. Their blue satin dressing gowns have